So what's going on dammers, my name is Meho and welcome to your day 4 of making code dam and in this video I'm gonna show you um, what essentially the community has contributed on the 4th day and what I have done to the website. So let's get started. Alright so um, today was not so active day for from the community side so we still have that one pull request only which I did not merge. So let's see what he says um, on this. Uh, okay. Huh, that's right. Actually, I was thinking about it. So um, he says, um, correct. Um, key should be actually in the environment. But right now, since I am actually developing the key, Okay, so Amit reviewed this. Okay, that's nice. Just in case config pole is not present. Um, <laughs> it's always nice to see people cooperating and working with each other. So, uh, Actually, they are correct, but what I wanted was to develop the platform first and then move these stuff to. Well, it's okay, I believe I can kind of take a look at this. So he has updated the README file. Um, he has created config folder with environment variables defaults development production um registered updated the uh, register.ts okay we are gonna i believe we are gonna have some merge conflicts there because i have made changes to all of these files as well uh, <laughs> cookie secret Config module is added. Config.ts is created. Okay. Looks fine to me. I guess we can just go ahead and merge this without actually verifying the code. I believe it would work. And if it doesn't, it's not very major change. So yeah, I guess we should be able to just go ahead and leave a message to both of these guys first. Let me just see. Um, first of all, let me just send a message like, um, yes, I believe, yes, I was aware that um, you should not be stored in a file. Um, but uh, I hope to make this change later on after developing side a bit. But since you have already sent this PR, let's do it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and merge the pull request. Oh, so it's, it merged smoothly. Okay, that's great. So um, that's all for the pull request and for the issues right now, you can see that I have opened just one panel design. So obviously I want to have some sort of design, some sort of um, UI for the panel. I'm not really that good with the UIs. I'm not a designer, I'm a developer. So um, let me know if you're a designer and post some designs or UI examples, links which I can take a look or maybe just send a PR, that would be actually great. So um, the code for panel is up, it's just ugly right now if you 
see uh, this is it <laughs> so that's the thing but what actually I want to show you is that what I've done today is created something um, work named hello so what this is is if I just log out let me just try to create another account here um, let's just say my username is mehul pass uh, email id is mehul password is mehul and it's mehul as well I'm on the back end I have not enabled validation I mean I'm just returning true from the validation function so it would register me anyway otherwise this sort of um, uh, this sort of registration is not valid this this is invalid this is the password is too small the username is fine I believe but it's okay so obviously this is one thing to fix as well the registration shows um, just the raw JSON instead of nice looking response so if I now log in with the mayhole mayhole hit sign in you see that instead of getting to the panel we get to the hello and actually we cannot go to the panel unless we complete this hello thing because um, first time users have to go through this hello thing so right now I just have a couple of questions which is um, just for testing of this thing so let's say have I have you ever done programming for I would probably answer yes you would probably answer yes but somebody who is extremely new to programming and all that stuff I'm not sure maybe your grandfather or your father or anybody who wants to get into a little bit of programming start with the programming or maybe some um, child aged 11 12 who wants to learn about programming would probably go with no and uh, I click on next so right now it disappears whenever when, if you click on no as well so that's the thing to fix so you can see that it's kind of broken right now I need to arrange I need to work on layout so choose some of the languages which interest you this is JavaScript I believe so um, you can go ahead and select some languages and Python obviously so next and that's all we need to know let's get started let's go and now I'm in the panel and on the back end if you take a look we see that a new object is created you see that first time it's false and uh, I believe uh, <laughs> I guess I have not updated the schema for mongoose which should actually show the tags here the tags of the user should be added for example I selected JavaScript PHP Python and all that stuff so that should be visible here so that's essentially it for this day and expect to see some more pull requests and good stuff from you guys come on guys let's do it so that's all for this day and i'll see you then in day five